Stormy West Coast Rob, man, and welcome to my podcast, You Bitch. The thoughts, views, and opinions you hear on this show are just that, my thoughts, my views, my opinions. So if you don't like them, disagree with them, or whatever the case may be, well, there's a simple solution to all that, and that's just stop listening. But if you care to partake in the sim- if if you care to partake in the conversation, sit back, turn it up, and enjoy the show. I always fuck that up for some reason. Yeah, that. Welcome back to another episode of the Yeah That Podcast, hosted by yours truly, West Coast Roberto. How y'all doing? doing well hope you all are doing very well been busy as of late as you can probably tell because uh the schedule has been thrown off the scheduling has been thrown off haven't been putting out as many episodes as quite as frequently as i am accustomed to and i apologize for that it's been real busy I feel like time is it's like i don't have enough time to do what i need to do but you know it's life, it is what it is, but you know, always back. I apologize for the delay, and I hope you all are doing very well. Um, for those of you, the last episode was about bipolar disorder. Man, that sound that seemed like it was a long time ago with my special guest, Cosmic Candy, and we went over bipolar disorder, what it was. Um, she, uh, she went over, you know manic episodes and her artwork and hula hooping and you know we kind of brought it to the forefront for those of you out there who are either battling with it you know or kind of in denial of it you know you can uh you don't have to be you know we we discussed bipolar disorder and you know things you can do to cope and etc etc so if you're interested in in that topic if you haven't listened to it or watched it yet Check it out. Available on all podcast platforms and YouTube. But you already know that because you're here listening now. And I thank you for it. Yeah, that's so shout out to everybody. Shout out to you listening now. Shout out to people, to you listening on Apple, on Spotify, on Google Pods, on uh, Amazon, on iHeartRadio. So watching it on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, as always. Oh my goodness! So it's been a while. A lot of craziness is happening in this world. I don't know if a lot of you are up to date and keep up with current events, but uh, there's a lot of craziness going on. Um, You know, I'm in the service. For those of you new to the show, thank you. Um, I'm in this. I currently serve in the, in the United States military and last month we had three sailors take their lives while stationed on board a ship which I work in close proximity to so it's, it's kind of crazy I have sailors that work on board the ship that the, the aforementioned sailors took their lives on which is the USS George Washington um you know, it's, it's crazy news here and stuff like that. And, you know, suicide is a big deal. And it's it's not something that should be swept under the rug, taken lightly. Um, you should listen to those who are, you know, have the ideations. We have the training all the time, being in the military, to learn the signs and, and deal and cope. But at the same time... All that training still, you know I mean, still doesn't prepare you for the actual event that happens. Um, it was, it was, it's crazy to hear because you know I have, I have younger sailors who work on board that ship who are temporarily assigned to that ship, and you know, fortunate, we were fortunate that none of our sailors were, were the ones who who did who did the act but at the same time it's still it's still uh, sad and 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 disheartening to think of a 
young person doing that to themselves. You know, um, I don't take the topic lightly because my nephew, he was a few years ago, he was uh, planning to join the military, join the Navy, to be, to do actually the same job I do, feel the same field of work in which, you know, dealing with bombs and missiles and stuff. But uh, he took his own life at a at a gun range out in town. He was at a gun range and he, I don't know, he felt as if he had to do that. That's the only way out, which for those of you out there listening, if you ever dealt with or familiar with this topic, it's, it's, it weighs heavy on you. You know, you may have had your own ideations and you may have overcome them. But, uh, you know, there's, there's people out there who can't deal, you can't cope and feel as if they need to, to resort to that in order to get through things, which it's not, it's not a, how can I say this? It's, it's not, it's, it's just not a way out. It's not it's not an outcome. And you know, I've talked to my oldest daughter while she was in middle school about it. Um, you know, and I, now more so we've been talking about it lately because not only did the three there were the three incidents of the sailors on board the, the George Washington, there has been a slew of collegiate athletes, particularly women, who are who are taking their own lives because of, um, you know, the pressures of being a student athlete and, you know, just their mental health and and stress and and all that. So we really sat down and I I talked to my daughter because she's an elite athlete, both of them. And um, we've talked talked to them and, and let them know like, hey, that's not, that's not a way to cope. It's not a way out because you, it may seem like, Ah, just the thought of it, it just, it may seem like it's a way out, but it's just, it just does more damage to friends, family, you know, it's co-workers, everyone who knows you, who loves you, or have been in your presence, it, it just, it just puts a, a real, real uh, weight on their shoulders, weight in their heart, because they lost you, and it's not a way out, just know that there's always somebody there who can help you that's not just that's not a way out just, it should never be should never consider that and if you have ever or if you feel the need to do such there are there are an abundance of resources you can use out there there's the national suicide hotline which is um available 24 hours available in english and spanish here in the united states you can call them at any time and the number is 800-273-8255 you can call them if you you can just talk to them about whatever's going through your head in regards to that topic there's also um other resources for those in the military, military one source, you got you got people, you got family, you got friends. You can talk to anybody. You do not have to take your own life. You do not. You do not. But you know the the sailors, the three sailors who did it on board the George Washington felt as if that was their only way out, and uh, it's sad. So my condolences to their to their families and friends um and they were young ah, man all of them young we had um you know their names deserve to be said so we had um <clears throat> excuse me you had Michaela Sharp who was 23 you had Natasha excuse me Natasha Huffman who was 22, I believe. He had a 19 year old Xander Sandor. Excuse me. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to butcher their name. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, excuse me. Xavier Sandor, who was 19. So he had a 
Natasha Sharp. Um, excuse me, Michaela Sharp, Natasha Huffman, and Xavier Sander, who were the three sailors on board the George Washington who took their lives. And yeah, uh, you do not, uh, man, it's just can't even imagine what their family and friends are going through. But like I said, you don't, you don't have to do that. You do not have to do that. There's there's ways out. There's ways to cope. There's there's help out there. Which you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-TALK, which is 800-273-8255. Or you can text the word STRENGTH to the crisis text line at 741-741. Or go to suicidepreventionlifeline.org for more help. You can go to anyone. You can go to church. You can talk to anybody. You can talk to mentors. You can. Just, there's always better ways. And, um, you know, with them, with the three sailors, there was also, like I said, the, the collegiate athletes, which is that one, it, it's, I know, it kind of, it scares, I know it scares my wife, it scares myself as well, because, like I said, my daughters, they're, they're elite athletes right now in their perspectives, in their respective sports, and my oldest, she's at that level, she's in, she's in high school, she's already playing varsity sports at, as a freshman. And, you know, she's only progressing. She's only going to progress. So it's it's, it's somewhat scary. But um, once again, condolences go out to condolences go out to the friends and family of James Madison University softball player Lauren Burnett. She was on ah, she was like 19 or no, she was 21. Took her life. Then you also had the Wisconsin track star, Sarah Scholes, who was 22. And then you had the Stanford soccer player, soccer captain, Katie Meyer, who was 22. And all this happened with this, within a span of a couple weeks, which is pretty gnarly to think about. You know, especially like uh, young, just so young, still young, and then for the for the the collegiate athletes, like they're they're top tier, top athletes, and it's just it's pretty eerie because each one of those happened like right after something positive happened in regards to their sports, like being named player of the week team captain scoring so and so goals or whatever the case may be they had accolades and then following the accolades they they felt as if the pressure was uh, was was too much so I mean, you just gotta think you gotta, you gotta think about people first you know mental health is a big big thing it's a big deal nothing to be taken lightly so please ensure that your well-being and the well-being of those around you are being taken care of those working for you those working with you make sure people are okay please make sure people are okay because suicide doesn't help anything it just it just worsens worsens things now we have six people six young people who had a whole life to live are now gone and their friends and families colleagues are in mourning so rest in peace to these six aforementioned people who uh, felt as if there was no way out but there's a resources out there for those out there who have who have or been have had the thoughts or thinking that that's the way out so please 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 i'll link it in the descriptions below so that so that way you can you can see it for yourself that there is help there are options there are resources please talk to somebody there's that's not that is not a way to go because it does more damage than it does good it does no good actually <coughs> excuse me but i wanted to get that get that out and uh Condolences to the family, the families and friends again. 
you know, it's just it's crazy when you when you think about stuff like that to happen in the young folk. You know, it's it's tough being, you know, every generation growing up, it's it's always tough. You know, I know when I was growing up, they would say you would hear the sayings, "Oh, it's tough being a kid nowadays." And then I, I got older. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got older than my younger sister, who's four years older than me. I was like, "Oh, this generation, it's tough being a kid nowadays." You know, dealing with this and blah 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 and. You know, now more so, I think today has to be probably one of the toughest times to be a a kid because of technology and you know the easy access of technology and what it is they see. So like you, you're on social and you have the 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 IGs and girls are seeing these these pretty girls and oh I need to look like that or they're seeing these athletes and I need to look like this and I need to do that to be like this to be socially accepted when in real reality social media is not reality so please if you if you're listening to this and if you feel that way just understand social media isn't reality social media is a platform where originally when it was started and invented was a place for people to socialize now it's a place where young individuals young people feel as if that's what they need to do to be socially recognized and it's not people are steering away from being themselves because they feel they need to look like this. They need to act like this. They need to dress like this in order to get accepted socially. Which is not correct. Incorrect. So a big thing in uh, in my household that I, I preach to my, to my kids is just be yourself. Be yourself. You are great people. People love you. And they will continue to love you. Just be yourself. Don't try to be like this person. Don't try to do this or act this way to fit in. Just be yourself. You know, and I think uh, a lot of that is, has to weigh, a lot of that weighs in on mental health. And just, you know, mental health more so, now, nowadays is more so um, vital, vital for, you know, the, the quality of living for our young folk now, so, I know it's crazy, it's crazy, you know, I, a lot of us have been there in some way, shape, or form in regards to feeling down, you know, I'm, I've been there, I've been, I've been down at the bottom, feeling, I was at a point where I felt like I, you know, man, fuck this, you know, the ideation, I've had it. But, you know, I talk myself out of it because it's like, okay, there's more. There's people out there who need me. There's, uh, I got it. I can't do this because I'm going to be hurting people. You know, it's a lot. Of, it's, it was easier for me to do than, than most people. But, you know, I'm glad I did it. Glad I did it. And glad I, I didn't go through with it because of the pain that it would have been caused to loved ones. So. Once again, there's resources out there for everybody. Please make sure you you check out the link below for the National Suicide Hotline. Once again, it's 800-273-8255. I will link it in the description below for those of you needing it. For those of you who feel that your friends need it or family members, please, please help them out. So, on a lighter note... I'm sorry to, to have start the, the pot off that that heavy, that serious, but it needed to be done. You know, there's crazy things going on in this world. There was that. There's, you know, people burning down, like, the, the food plants, too. That's crazy. We just had another food processing plant owned by Purdue get burnt down mysteriously. I think it was the 13th one in the nation. Or 17th one in the nation. That's that's pretty nuts. And it's like, who's doing this? Who is doing it? I mean, I, I, we all have a feeling of who is doing it, or we all have a feeling of the type of people that are doing it. But this is crazy. There's that. 
you know, I mean, there was the there was the suicides, there's the, the burning downs of the, the burning down of the plants. There are uh, shootings. Like it's like what is going on right now? What is going on? Like I know it's summertime. It was about to be people about to be out there. People are out there now. You know, last year everything started started to open up, but shit going on like this, man. It's, you know, it's instead of going out there and celebrating and enjoying traveling and each other and and just having fun people are doing dumb shit it's crazy to me crazy to me so you know i'm i'm really i've really been on my toes lately being being out and about i'm i haven't really been wanting to go to like big events and shit like that because covid's still a thing you know people are still getting covid not that it's not as severe as it as it was back then because we have a better understanding but you know people are motherfucking crazy man and so it's kind of it's kind of sketch going out but uh you know it's just i don't know you see it and you you hear all this stuff and it's like what where are we going with all this like what are we what is the, what is the end goal in regards to all this shit all this craziness happening i just hope it it kind of flip-flops as the summertime comes and you know people are out and enjoying the weather and, and scenery and all that so i just i hope there's a big decline in all this negativity that's going on all this bad juju i try to i try to you know display and preach all this positivity but reality is there's a lot of crazy shit going on so just you know for for you out there be on your toes when you're out and about when you're traveling whatever you're doing be on your toes keep your head on a swivel because there are folk out there who don't give a fuck but enjoy yourself i mean deserve it the past you know over the last two years it's been kind of crazy so now that things are starting to open up summertime is coming get out there and enjoy yourself Enjoy your life, live your life, you know, do your thing. But I'm, but you know, for me, um, so I've been, you know, I'm I'm in a cycling. You know, summertime is coming. I I want to go on this cruise. I want to go on a on a cruise with the fam. Where my wife and I are talking about taking taking the girls on a cruise. So we're, we're looking into that. But you know, there's been a lot going on, like. My daughters are great at their sports. My daughter just got accepted to a to a, a new club, a new soccer slash football club, depending on where you're listening to this from. And it's travel, so we're gonna be doing traveling, and then the fees, the fees are gonna be higher than my my youngest daughter. She's doing gymnastics, and she has the state the state uh, championship meet coming up within the next two weeks. And then I got to take care of shit in regards to, you know, necessities like with my truck and stuff like that. So I was like, this cruise is starting to sail away. Pun intended. <laughs> oh, man. But, oh, that's wrong. That's the wrong thing. But it's starting to sail away, like I said. <laughs> but uh I don't know, we're trying to see what if we can't go on the cruise then what 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 else can we do to take the place of um I know my daughters are looking forward to the cruise thing being so stoked, which I really want to take them on one. But uh maybe we can just take another trip. Take a trip elsewhere somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. But as of right now, me, I'm actually so I've been researching duathlons. You know, I'm trying to get this this summer body back. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get ready for summertime. I'm trying to bring sexy back. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. But uh, so I, I've started my cut, my cut, my shred. It's shred season. So I started it this week, and uh, you know I I'm into cycling. You know what I'm saying? Because it's low impact. I got on, I got bad knees. But uh, I've been researching duathlons, which a duathlon is. I know you, you, those out there are probably familiar with triathlon, which that's cycling, running, and swimming. But uh, you know, I ain't trying to swim out there in the ocean like that. 
I can swim too, by the way, motherfuckers. I can swim, but I'm not trying to get out there in that ocean and swim like that. So I've been researching duathlons, which is two events, which is running and cycling. I like cycling. I enjoy it. Um, Great workout, low impact on the knees. Running, I can run up until last year for uh, my yearly um, my physical readiness test I got to do every year in the military I was running the mile and a half and uh, for those of you out there watching you see me I mean I'm, I'm, I'm husky you know what I mean those out there listening I walk around I'm currently walking around at 238 I'm six six foot and I got on the scale a couple days ago. I was like 238. I'm down five pounds. I was I was walking around 243, 245 at six foot. But I can run. I can. I got people are a lot. A lot of people are surprised by how fast I am for my size and my ability to run. But I can run. In the day I can run. So I, I prefer not to because of my knee. But uh, I can run. So I've been looking into duathlons. Um, there hasn't been any around locally near me. Every duathlon I've looked up has been in another state or wherever. Not just none here. There's a lot of cycling events, which is cool, but no duathlons. But there's one that I found, which is through the military. As a, there's a health day coming up within the next two weeks or so. Actually, it's in ten days. There's a health day where there's a they're having a health health fair. You know, there's vendors, there's public speakers, and but there's also a mini duathlon going on. And I was like, oh, shit, how ironic! A mini duathlon. I've been searching for a duathlon, so um, I still haven't called and registered. But I was like, I got plenty of time. This was last week. I said, oh, I got plenty of time to train. There's a mini duathlon. Great way to introduce me into duathlons and all that. So. Um, I can ride, I can ride, uh, for a good little distance. I think the most I've ridden has been 50, about half a century. I think I've done, yeah, about a half a century when I was at my peak, this was COVID. And so I can ride 30 easy. I have, yeah, I can ride 30, easy, 30 miles easy. So this mini duathlon is a 12 mile a 12 mile ride and it's three mile a three mile run so i don't know how that how the format is going to be i don't know if it's going to be a mile and a half first run uh, a mile and a half run first the cycle and then a mile and a half run after or is it going to be the three miles and then the 12 mile ride so I don't, i'm kind of stoked about it only thing is i haven't even i haven't even started running yet or training for this I rode my bike once last week and excuse me I rode my bike once last week and I went about eight eight miles ten miles felt good I felt good the place I was riding it was a park that I just discovered it was cool nice little park I thought it was bigger than what it was so I ended up doing laps but I could have I could have gone longer um, but yeah so 12 miles and then a three mile run I told myself I'm gonna run it within my neighborhood, but haven't done it yet. So we'll see how this goes. Still gonna sign up, still gonna do it. May suck, but whatever. Embrace the suck. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got coming up. I also got my daughter's state meet, like I said. And then uh, my oldest, she's still playing varsity soccer, still soccer season playoffs are coming regional playoffs so got that going on still trying to get acclimated in, with this new move as well as you can see it's still nothing on the walls behind me for those of you watching um those of you listening i'm showing my the, my backdrop which is nothing except for that right there my little fat head but uh still finishing up the the new house um yeah and just you know just living life that's it living life but oh, I promise I will get better at the pods I started off the year well then got busy as a mug and have since been busy as a mug but I already got guests lined up um, you know it's just all scheduling thing that's all it is you know got, 
got, got some interesting guests lined up that I'm looking forward to, to sitting down, learning, sitting down with, learning from, you know, learning new things from. So just stick with the pod. Follow me on, on IG if you don't already. Follow me on Instagram at yeah, that podcast one word. Follow me on Twitter at West Coast underscore Rob as I be posting on there too. But I'm pretty heavy on on the Instagram, so follow the podcast on there. You can also follow me on uh, I'm on TikTok too. I need to get on get better with the TikToks, but I'm be wanting to sit there, man. Just do that TikTok stuff. I can't. I can't do it like my daughter. So I think I might hire my daughters to do some TikToks for me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But you know, that's. I think I'm gonna wrap this podcast up right here. You know, thank you all for being patient. Thank you all for those out there who are loyal and and stay with me. Tune in every episode. Watch every episode on YouTube. Listen to every episode in the podcast. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. You have no idea. You have no idea. I, I truly, truly appreciate you for it. But uh, I will update y'all on this duathlon. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be. I'm gonna be hurting afterwards. I just have a feeling. But we'll see. We'll see. But until the next episode, I'm gonna end it here. That's it for this episode. This is episode 33. We're still moving. We'll get better with the with the uh, consistency in regards to the episodes dropping you know i still shoot for every week dropping weekly episodes so i'm gonna get better at it trust trust i gotta fit it in my my schedule and i will do such i will do so so stick with it thank you for tuning in please rate the podcast on whatever platform you're listening to it on whether it's apple google spotify amazon iHeartRadio, audible uh overcast whatever it is Make sure you rate it. Drop me a comment. Just hit rate. Go down. Scroll. Hit rate. Five star rating. You know, like it. Share it. Whole nine. If you want to see what the what the homie looks like, or if you want to see what the guests look like, make sure you turn in to YouTube and go to youtube.com slash West Coast Rob and you'll see the podcast right there. When you do get on YouTube, hit subscribe. You know, drop some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you want me to cover any topics or you want to know my perspective about a certain topic that's boggling your mind or that's bothering you, just slide in them DMs in Instagram on the on the YouTube on the uh, on the podcast page at yeah that podcast on Instagram. So with that being said, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you all once again for tuning in to another episode of the yeah that podcast remember if you need help get help there's no shame in it it doesn't make you weak it just makes you stronger it makes you better if you, the number to the um to the suicide the national suicide hotline will be listed in the description below for those out there listening and watching um if, if you need help please reach out and get that help the the number to the national suicide prevention lifeline is 800-273-TALK that is 800-273-8255 excuse me 800-273-8255 is the number to the national suicide prevention lifeline if you need the help do what you gotta do take care of yourself take care of your family let your family know just have that sit down please talk to somebody because there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing that severe or there's nothing that cannot be too severe that you cannot get help for where taking your life is the ultimate result like that's that doesn't help it's not it's not a result so just think before you do it please reach out to someone who loves you someone you know or just reach out to those resources and get the help you need all right that being said it's the homie west coast rub thank you all for listening until the next episode